Family owned business is bringing you a unique food tasting experience. Yes, indeed. They're making olive oil. Microphone's on. No, they're making olive oil that's tastier with an organic twist. Okay. okay. Well, Molly Real is in Fairfield getting a, a chance to indulge in some of the delicious flavors. Are you tasting? Well, I will tell you, I have not yet tasted the olive oil here at Il Fiorello, but I have to say, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. A few, a few accolades that <laughs> just have received just over the years. Yeah, just a wall of ribbons and medals. Uh, this place, you know, I'll tell you what, I tend to romanticize things, right? But I don't think I am being the least bit dramatic when I talk about what he is made here, what is grown and made here at Il Fiorello. Uh, this is Ann Seaver. She is the owner and miller and farmer. You do it all. And as we look around, you do do it all. All of this is grown and made on your property. And we're very proud of it. Good yes. morning, good day. Good Sacramento. morning. And I, I just told you, I have been wanting to come out and visit you for so long. Uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Uh, first of all, I was a nurse at UC Davis for a long time, and then I said enough of that, and I started growing olives. And we have 3,000 trees. My farm is completely organic, so all the products we make are certified organic, and we're really proud of that. Yeah. We have a great team here, too. And everything does look so handmade in such a beautiful way. All the little touches, hand-dipped. I mean, look at that, waxed. <laughs> so this is your uh, retail section. Uh, but if people come visit you here in Fairfield, mm -hmm. let's walk into the tasting room, shall we? So of course, you know, if you go to visit a vineyard, you could do a flight of wine here at Il Fiorello. You could do a flight of olive oil. You do. You can do a flight of three extra virgin oils, a co-milled oil that we make here and one of my lovely, wonderful, amazing balsamic vinegars. And which you also make. Which we also make. Uh, you were telling me, tell us, what makes extra virgin olive oil extra virgin olive oil? So there's a international and state regulations that say you have to have olives and nothing else in the bottle at all. It has to pass a very rigorous chemistry test because California feeds the world, so our standards are higher than international standards. Then it has to pass a master taste test, mm. and they taste it for attributes and defects. Okay. And all my oils have passed certification. Well, look how beautiful. Okay, so you also have, oh, you haven't poured it yet. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, it's empty. <laughs> you have, um, on your tasting menu, you have a guide for how to taste olive oil properly. So tell me how it's done. Okay, first of all, smell the oil. It has to have a beautiful aroma. Mm -hmm. It should have bitterness in the mouth. Just a taste of bitterness, because that's what olives are. Don't ever eat an olive off a tree. Never do that. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and then it should have what the Greeks call pungency. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a stinging, lovely sensation in the back. There's a little good burn, isn't there? There's a great good burn. Now, as I try this, I want you to tell everyone why this is the color that it is. So this was just made two days ago. So this is fresh made oil, beautiful aroma, quite luscious in the mouth. Mm -hmm. I like to make oils that are big and robust and have flavor so that they match really, really well with food. Beautiful. And it's just lovely. the right burn right there. Well, yes. It's a lot of burn. <laughs> <laughs> and then tell me, this is a balsamic that you've made. Yeah. So I use a base from Italy because Italy makes the best balsamic. And because I have blood oranges on my property, I've infused this balsamic with blood oranges. Ooh. That sounds Magical. so beautiful. <laughs> oh, that makes me emotional. You, you, this is very important to you. Yeah, you said it's it very important that people not only know where their food comes from, right. but know how to appreciate good food. Right, so we do what is called a sensory tasting here, so that people can come and taste olive oil, learn how to taste it correctly, and learn what good olive oil should be. And then we pair it with foods from our garden yeah. so that you learn how to use the oil with good food. Well, we know, <laughs> we know that it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ann. You guys, you come out and visit them. Uh, but this weekend especially, it's going to be exciting because you have right. a community milling day, which means people can bring their own olives that they have grown yep. and milled in. Coming up in the next hour, we are going to do some milling ourselves. We are going to be milling. And here we are milling. We are milling. They are in the process of it right now. We'll see how this beautiful olive oil is made. 
and hear a little bit more about that event if you'd like to come uh, this Sunday. But you know what? Whether or not you can come this Sunday, come you should come. come. You're any welcome day. any day to come here. Cheers. Fabulous. Bottoms Cheers. up. <laughs> Finish it up. Love it. All right. Thanks, Molly. We'll check back, back in with you in a little bit.